Uh, okay, so uh, this video is for you, Andrew, and the Lisa team, and uh, James as well, just so that, James, you're in the loop real quick. I'm going to show you guys how to FTP into the flywheel host. Um, so real quick, uh, so first off, let me get this out of the way. So if you go to get flywheel, first thing you need to do is just obtain your username now. Um, this might have been somewhere where I pointed Andrew. You, I might have pointed you wrong in two locations. And the first is I might have pointed you wrong um, regarding your username. And I might have pointed you wrong on your FTP. So I'm going to correct that right here. So first off, Andrew, you're in here. You don't need to create another user or FTP. Um, to get your username, you just need to go to your profile. And boom, that would be your username. Or uh, here, under username whatever your username is that you set up, that is the username you need. So that might have been the first place um, I put you off there. Um, then the other thing is FTP flywheel details. Just go ahead and Google FTP flywheel details. Um, and this little guy shows up and it gives you the basic uh, instructions. And so this is the second place I'm gonna point you the wrong direction. So um, yes, FTP, I might have sent you to uh, getflywheel.com as the host, but it's supposed to be as ftpflywheelsites.com, port 22, and then the username you set up and the password. So forgive me for that if I pointed you the wrong direction there. And then, real quick, just so you can see, let me pull up my file FTP client, pulling up FileZillo. So first off, sftp.flywheelsites.com. My username, my password, boom, and then port 22, and then quick connect. It's going to spin, boom, I get this directory, which is based on my username. I go into the directory, and then it lists all the sites that you're a collaborator on. And so these are kind of a bunch of our other client sites that we've got hosted with Flywheel. In your case, you will only see the Joseph Motors uh, FTP, and then you should be good to go from your local server to your remote server with that. Um, please let me know. Again, I apologize if those two areas I pointed you the wrong direction, but that should explain uh, exactly how to get it done. So thanks guys so much, and let me know if you get some